Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a direct download link for your Google Documents, so your Google Docs, your Google Spreadsheets, and your Google Presentations. And what I mean by a direct download link, if you were to go right-click on this inside of your Google Drive and go to Get Link, the link that you generate right here is not actually a download link. If you paste that into a web browser and hit Go, you will see that it brings you to the test document. Instead, if you want this to be actually downloaded by something, you're going to have to go to download and click one of these. The direct download link generator, however, will give you a direct download for this link or this document. And the only way that you can do that is by using the program known as G Drive Linker. Now, G Drive Linker has just recently been updated to support documents, spreadsheets, and presentations, as well as other folders and files. So let me show you. I still have this copied, but I'm going to go ahead and get link again and copy the link. Link has been copied. I'm going to open this up and hit paste. And as you can see, it has generated a link for me right there. And I can copy this link, and if I paste it up inside of a new tab, you can see I now have my document downloaded and ready to go. So how th this works, G Drive Linker looks at the contents of whatever link you give and then generates a download link for that. And you can notice down here it says offline. If I paste, well, I'm going to copy this again so we have it. So get link, copy and then I'm going to paste it in there. You can see it went from online to offline. It was verifying the link. If you want to com have this completely offline, you can. Just go up here, deselect online mode, you're currently offline. Paste in that value again, it says that you cannot verify the link, but if you copy it, bring it right back up here, go into a new tab, you can see it still generates a link. Now let me show you something else that G Drive Linker does. If we look at the files that we have right here, you can see that I have folders that have other folders contained inside of them, and it's a big, long uh, section of folders. So if I were to right-click on this and go to Get Link, copy that, and I were to go to that in another web browser, I'm going to open up a brand new one right here in a totally different uh, page so we can see. If I were to paste that in there, you can see that it actually takes me to a Google Drive. Now, on the other hand, if I were to paste that link into G Drive Linker, and this has to be online mode so it can read the files, if I paste this link in, it says the link is a folder and you need to click Add to List to generate the file links. So let's go ahead and add that to the list. Now, you cannot download an entire folder, but what you can do in G Drive Linker you can section out all the different files inside of those folders and it even produces it in a file tree for you. So let's say that we want to look at this image right here, which is Capture. Capture is inside of G Drive Linker Test Folder 2, which then has Folder 3 in it. So let's go and see. G Drive Linker Test right here, Folder 2, and then it has Folder 3, and then it has Capture. So that's the image that we want to get. I'm going to go ahead, click on Capture, and you can see it's already highlighted right there for me. And then we can test out the link if we want to. So let's go ahead and click Test Link. And there we have it. It has Capture. And let's go ahead and open it, make sure it's the same one. And there we have it. So this is our downloaded image and it came from right there. So this also works with documents as well. So just to prove this, we have a presentation right here. So test presentation, test the link. Boom, there we have it. We have a presentation. It works with the spreadsheet. And finally, it works with a Word document as well. Now, it will not download an entire folder. If you want to do that, you will need to zip the folder first, but it does work with other contained files inside of that. Okay, thank you all very much for watching. I hope that this has been informative for you. If you have any questions, go ahead, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, go ahead, give us a thumbs up. The link for G Drive Linker is in the description as well as information about it. There's more stuff in it, such as the availability to change different formats and stuff like that, which is all going to be covered on the website. So 
I hope that you have enjoyed this. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. Thank you all very much for watching.